a machine of monumental achievement. There are some very simple basic things you can do. Weight training, chess, having debates, trying your very best to take care of your mother, retire her. Make sure that your people who you love are taken care of. You need goals and resistance and something to fight against to live well. Because the distance between pain and joy is what we experience. If you only have joy all of the time and no pain, you are not going to be happy. You don't need drugs. You don't need alcohol. You don't need parties or festivals. You don't need fun. Fun is the vector from which Satan operates. Every time you look at something which is fun, it's all just hedonistic. There's no money to be made. You don't retire your mother. You don't help the world. You don't give to charity. You don't become stronger. You don't become wiser. You don't learn anything. Next time you think of what is fun and someone goes, guys, come, it'll be fun. Sit there, go, wait, 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 wait. wait. Will it? Experiences are unique. Jail was a unique experience. Bunch of fun. Unique. Life's not about fun as a man. Life is about doing the right thing because it must be done. Now, there are some things that are fun which can be earned. And there are some things which are fun that you could do which perhaps involve skill. Driving a supercar around a racetrack is fun. It involves skill. You have to be good at what you do. Cool. But a lot of this fun that is easily accessible to everyone because not everybody can get a Ferrari on a closed racetrack. I can. You can't because you're poor. You do not need fun until you've already reached the highest possible echelon. So this whole idea that you need fun in your life, you don't. What you need is purpose. You need discipline. You need hard work. You need things to do which are going to benefit you and others around you. You need duty. You need obligations. And you need performance metrics. You need people around you who are going to hold you accountable. You don't need to be waking up thinking about fun. You're nobody. You're not important. Nobody knows who you are. You're not physically strong. You're not financially wealthy. You have bigger concerns. You're obsessed with this idea of fun. Hey, what are we going to do this weekend? We need to have some fun. Do you? Do you need fun? Do you deserve it? Really? Have you actually gone out there in the universe and made a mark large enough that you're allowed some time off to have some fun? You don't deserve any fun. You don't need any fun. You have work to do. Your obsession with fun is holding you back. These things you think are fun aren't fun. Checking your bank balance at, in your house, not going out, you're not in the club, and seeing $20 million liquid is very fun. That's right. Much more fun than anything you could possibly ever do. So although it wasn't fun to sit around and accumulate that kind of wealth, it's the funnest thing in the universe, in a way. For a man, your contentment will come from your purpose, and it will come from your competence, and it will come from succeeding objectives. It will come from completing difficult things that other people cannot complete. It will never come from the easily accessible hedonism, which you have confused for fun. If everybody can do it, you shouldn't want to do it. If everybody can go to that concert, you shouldn't want to go. If everybody can go to that club, you shouldn't want to go. You should only want to do things others can't do. The only fun I have is doing things I know you're not allowed to do. Putting my Bugatti on an A380 and flying it around the world to a racetrack, which I've rented out for only me and only my friends to race around cars. You can't do that. I can. That is fun. But if you say to me, Andrew, come to this party. And I say, well, who's there? Everyone. Oh, everyone's there. Does that mean I need to go? Right? It's the, it's the event of the century. Ooh, everyone's there. If everyone's there, it's trash. So you need to sit there and go, all right, I'm being asked to do something fun. Who else can do this? Simulation and if, if the answer is everybody, active. stop. I clear my emails. I've trained hard that day. I've made a couple million dollars. I've spec'd a brand new car. I've checked on all the people I love, all the people I care about. I've donated some money to charity. My children are fed. Their mothers are taken care of. Everything is in order. Everything is in its proper place. That is fun. If you say to me, Andrew, skip a portion of that, skip a portion of that organization and professionalism so that we can go and do something that everyone else can do, my answer will be no. That does not sound fun to me. And the fact that you think that's fun shows that you have a severe mental deficiency. Stay away from it. You're only going to find actual fun through purpose. You're only going to find purpose through exceptionalism. So you need to become the best possible version of yourself in all realms. That's extremely important. The reason you are so unhappy is because you are trying to have fun. You're unhappy because you're trying to have fun instead of trying to become important. They are very different things, and you're never going to feel satisfied in your heart unless you become important. Please imagine. And being important is fun. Oh, it's absolutely fun. Please imagine, and I don't state this with arrogance. Please imagine for a second you're the most Googled man on the planet. And you're a kickboxing world champion and you have hundreds of millions of dollars and you're built like a tank. Imagine how you feel when you look in the mirror. Nothing can match that. Nothing can beat that. As a man, you need to have struggle in your life. And I want you guys to actually sit and think, what struggle are you going through daily? What struggle are you undertaking? What struggle are you trying to overcome? Because you should make a list of them. 
I can know for myself every single day I wake up and I train physically. Every single day I have to go through X amount of physical pain when my day begins. That is a struggle that must be completed. Then I must try and keep my massive empire online, see my children, take care of everybody. There's struggle involved. My life is difficult. Difficulty difficult rating. lives are Media. fulfilling. Because we used to have to hunt and fish and go out there initiated. and go through difficulty to survive. And I often see that when I speak to people who are too they end up being unhappy. Yeah. You can't entertain yourself to happiness. You must earn happiness. You must climb a mountain. You must struggle yourself to happiness. That's extremely important. It must be physical, mental, social, Console. creative, Active. some kind of spiritual struggle. And those things online. being satisfied is what's going to satisfy you. It's like Bitcoin. Bitcoin's a mathematical equation. You solve the equation, you get a Bitcoin. Life is very much the same. There's struggles, there's difficulties which you have undertaken, which you have adopted to try and complete. And when you finish those things, then you get satisfaction as a reward. That's the big one. The only other alternative to that to feel good is hedonism, which is drugs and alcohol. And that's not going to satisfy you for very long. And it's also going to destroy your life. So it's extremely important. This is actually why people are addicted to video games. Young men are addicted to video games because it mimics virtually what they ought to be doing in the real world. Yeah effort in to upgrade Console their character available. to become a better version of themselves so they can do better things than they could previously do and explore new areas of the map. The areas of the map, which are Bugatti Convention, flying there on a private jet to sit with billionaires. The Grand but, Casino Monaco is a cool area of the map that you have, you have not unlocked yet, but it's great. Which requires you to upgrade your character as a person. You understand this in video games, and you do it in video games because it's very interesting to do. However, you don't want to do it in the real world. But in the real world, it's so much more rewarding. And I'm actually going to argue that we're living in one of the pe final periods where that's true. I'd say in a few generations, who you are and who your physical body is may not matter nearly as much. No, but it does matter today. A lot. Exactly. So that's why you should enjoy it while you can. So you need to... Pick the low-hanging fruit first. And the starting block to all of these things is your body. I believe if you lift, stretch, move, improve your body, try and train MMA, learn how to fight, get stronger, get bigger muscles, it's a fast track to self-discipline to carry over into all other endeavors. And I would argue that is nearly impossible. In fact, how many people can say the gym saved their life? How many people do you know were depressed, started training, got in fantastic shape and weren't depressed anymore? It is very easy. The low-hanging fruit is your body and upgrading your body. That is the easiest struggle, which is never going to backfire on you and never going to be a negative towards any other facet of your life. And when I look at men who are physical specimens, I think everyone else naturally does this, but I'm going to openly say it. I respect them differently than I look at men who aren't. I have a different level of respect for them because they show me they have discipline. They show me they have motivation. They show me they're capable of doing difficult and hard things. Those are the kind of people I trust. They're not afraid of struggle. They're problem solvers. People who train are problem solvers, and you need to become one, and you need to become very, very adept at solving problems pretty quickly. I actually find it amazing that there's people out there who aren't perfect physical condition guys let me tell you all a, a news flash it's if you eat hard. right and you train hard you look good yeah it's like a biological certainty it's almost impossible to be fat and look bad if you eat right and train hard your body will react and give you exactly what you want so why don't you all look like superheroes do you not understand how intimidating that is it's when they look at a group of people and they all look like superheroes and they can tell they're all disciplined all hardworking, all dedicated all physically strong the struggle is what's beautiful about it. That's the most important thing. That's what you have to understand. Yeah, because no matter how rich you are, no matter how smart you are, no matter what family you're born into, you can only get into shape the same way as everybody else. So you could be Mark Zuckerberg, who's now in shape and he's a billionaire, but you can't say, oh, he bought it. He didn't buy it. He's just in great shape because he earned it like everyone else. You could be flat broke or rich as fuck. If you're in good shape, you had to earn it. It's as simple as that. So yeah, it says a lot about who you are as a person. First, you want to become as strong as physically possible. So you want to be as strong as physically possible. Strong Next, you want to try and make as much money as possible. Not even necessarily for the money, although money is extremely important because it allows you to take care of yourself. We talked about this before, but there's a the challenge involved and solving that challenge is going to make you feel more satisfied as a human. Happiness comes from success and making money is success. You should try and make people around you smile and be happy. You should try and encourage positivity initiated. around you. You should be the kind of person that no one can really complain about their struggles around because they know that you're the person who's going to be like, why are you complaining when you could just simply fix it? Especially Console successful people. Online. Successful people are uninterested in stealing because we'd rather everybody win and keep the friendship and keep the network and keep the positive orgones and keep the good karma than make a little bit extra money. So it's amazing what you see in the world. And if you become a person who is happy and successful and can 
take care of himself and adopt struggles. You're going to start finding those other people who do the same thing, and then you're going to build a network and become fantastic. Live with men you're in competition with. So, you and your friends need to have friendly competition at all times. Now, you need to meet your friends, and you need to have banter and competition around things that matter. Who's got the most money? Who's worked hardest? Who's discovered XYZ? Crypto, stock, new way of generating income. Who's trained that day? Who has the most children? Put some actual competitions together that matter and start competing and being around people because you are the sum of the five people you spend the most time with. Everybody knows this. So why do you get some genuine metrics that will improve your life? You won't have time to stand around cooking meals if you're friends with somebody who works out for three hours a day, for example, because you're going to need to find three hours a day to train to beat him, which means you're going to have to just eat that rotisserie chicken as you do squats like a man should. Live with men you're in competition with. This is ultra important. Hostile because you can measure yourself against initiated. your circle. If Tristan comes downstairs and says, I've done a thousand Hostiles push-ups, I will do anything Hostiles it takes to do a thousand and one just to annoy doors. him. Because I know that he then has to do a thousand and two. And pissing him off is available. worth it. It's always worth it. And that's why you need to have that kind of competition. Get your act together. Get some genuine metrics. Things that matter. And once they're all put together... You're going to let, live in a naturally competitive environment, which is going to increase your testosterone level. It's going to prevent you from doing a lot of dumb shit. And the competition one's great, you know, because you can apply it to everything. There are a lot of people who are going to get, you know, kicked in the nuts and, and take Poison a fall and they're going to let it beat them down. You know, Andrew's lost Entering very important rule. kickboxing matches. Did you quit fighting then? Easy. Did I quit fighting when I got my ass kicked a couple of times? Hostiles no, you don't. You just have to continue Hostiles because spot. in life, Highlight there are only doors. winners and losers. There are no participation trophies. Hostiles There's no, you know, stickers initiated. and everyone's invited to have a good time. You know, life is hard and everyone in life is actually trying to Console. play the same game. Available. If you're... A sportsman. Supply There's a small pool of activated. people who compete at kickboxing, professional soccer, and the bigger the pool is, the more difficult it is. Well, life is the only game where every single one of us, 8.1 billion people, is trying to play the exact same game. And the same game is, there's only Extreme so much money in the world, there's only so many resources, there's only so much happiness, Entering I'm going to try to provide for my rating. family Either as best target. as I can. And whether people say money's Hostiles not important or it is important, everyone's part Hostiles of this game. So winning is very difficult. Doors. And you have to keep trying when you get, when you get kicked and you fall down. And that's the advice I give to every, every young man who listens to me. People are afraid of accepting there's a problem because then they know they have a responsibility yeah, then you fixing gotta, it. Yeah. And they don't want to do anything, one, because they're lazy, and two, because they're afraid they might lose. So they'd rather pretend there's no problem at all. And I think I often say to people in a lot of my videos about a lot of other subjects that it's not always the winning and the losing. It's, it's the fighting in the first place. And there's plenty of men in history you remember who ended up losing in the end. Napoleon, for example, who still fought, which is why they mattered. It's not, if you're only going to fight when you're guaranteed to win, then no bravery is required. And you have to fight so that you can look back on your life and feel happy that you tried to do something when you knew it was going on before it was too late. Forget about the winning and losing for now. Focus on the fight. You must wait for the moment when the opponent's mind is scattered and strike without hesitation. If you do not overcome your tendency to give up so easily, your life will lead to nothing. Objectify your demons so you control them instead of them controlling you. Fear is a reaction. Courage is a decision. You have to train your mind to be stronger than your emotions, especially your impulses, or else you're going to lose yourself. You will only be found by the devil once you are lost, and he will lead you to hell. Most of the Johnson. important things in the world have been accomplished by men who kept fighting when there seemed to be no hope at all. I think it's a good motto, perhaps, for life, for everyone who's watching this. I heard it during a boxing match, and I think it was between Evander Holyfield against some guy who's not nearly as well known. And Holyfield Entering was losing, and then he starts swinging and hitting the guy. Easy. And the commentator said, suddenly the champion returns with initiative and vengeance. That's a good slogan for life. You should wake up, look in the mirror, and say, suddenly... The champion returns with initiative and vengeance. That's a good way to start your day every single day. Yeah, it is. Initiative and vengeance can become the best possible version of yourself. It's very important. And this is the last piece of advice I want to give to people. A lot of people go through life with a very average attitude and they wait for their one big break. But you have to build your big break. And you're going to do that with a thousand tiny victories. The most important thing, obviously, regarding anything you do in your life is your mindset. And that's the first lesson about this. It's the G mindset. You know, a lot of people message me saying, why did you call Room it G selected. course? You could have called it something more serious. No, I like that name. I like, I like G. 
That's what it is. It's, really, it's a dream combatant. mindset. We're going to learn something about ourselves. We're going to learn something about how we, how we view the world. Initiated. Because in reality, how you view the world absolutely and utterly shapes how you react to the world, how you act in the world, how people view you. It's all down to how you view things. There's very few things Console. in this Active. life we actually have Supply any control station over. activated. I learned all of the lessons I'm going to be teaching you the hard way. I didn't learn them in a course, so you guys are very, very lucky. I learned all this shit the absolute hard way. I came from absolutely nothing. There's a lot of rumors circulating online that, you know, my father was a world level chess player and that I got a lot of money from him and I came from a rich family, etc., etc. Absolutely not the case. My dad was a, a G, a straight G. He was in the military. He was based Room in England, selected. in the Air Force. My dad was actually a part of the CIA. He was a spy. Now he's, he's dead, I'm, I'm happy to say that. Uh, so my father worked in the intelligence services. He was based in England. He met my mom, a uh, pretty little white thing. He's a big black dude. So back then, that was that was a taboo. He, he grabbed her, took her to England, took her back to America with him. Uh, three beautiful offspring, me being the, the oldest. Uh, and then he Active. continued with his life of being a G, which is pimping hoes and playing chess at world level and traveling and traveling the earth. He never had any large financial sums. He certainly didn't leave me a penny. Um, he didn't have anything to leave. So all he left me with was with a mindset, and that mindset was enough that allowed me to build the life I wanted to build. My father never wanted to be fiscally rich. He never gave a shit about being rich. He cared about other things. If he wanted to be rich, he would have been extremely Hostile rich. Construction um, initiated. And I personally decided I wanted to be rich, Hostiles and all of the lessons that I'm going to be putting in this course, doors. a lot are from him, and a lot are from experiences of growing up poor, growing up in a single mother household, growing up in social housing, uh, the projects in England. Uh, when my mother and father split, I was nine years old, I went to England. Um, becoming a world level athlete, uh, and now becoming a self-made multimillionaire. So, all of these lessons I've learned absolutely the hard way. And if you disagree with anything in this video, that is your prerogative. But I can absolutely assure you, I know what I'm fucking talking about. I know what I'm talking about. I've lived an extreme life. There's a lot of people online who give out advice, that's fine. But I've lived an extreme life, more extreme than most. I have been in a single mother, my mum crying because she can't pay the bills, you broke as a joke. I've been a multimillionaire. I've been a nobody. I've been uh, famous. I've been a world level athlete. I've, I've started from nothing with a point where I had to run to the gym because I didn't even have a car to get there. I've done it all. So I've, I've, I've lived a very extreme life and this is where these Entering lessons come location. from. So Difficulty when I talk about G easy. mindset, G mindset is absolutely and utterly Hostile most important thing. Initiated. This is actually quite funny. Uh, a girl I was Hostile dating, she said to me, you know, you Hostiles remind me of Ru Paul. Ru Paul is a famous fucking drag queen, so it's not very good. I say, like, why? She goes, because he has a saying, he said, I always knew I was famous. I had to wait for the rest of the world to catch up. And she goes, you have the same Console mindset. She said this online. to me before I had nothing, because I told everyone I'm going to be world champion. Years before I even had a British title, before I even had an English title, I just started fighting. I was like, oh, I'm the next world champion. Yeah, yeah. And just, just, I just started saying it, but I said it with genuine conviction. I knew I would be the best. I genuinely knew I would be the best. You have to understand that this world, everyone constantly tells you, do not be arrogant. Do not have an ego. When I had my Twitter, I, I put my ego into overdrive because I found it entertaining. But people will constantly tell you to, to not talk in a way which is full of conviction. They, people do not like you to have, be arrogant.